Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, today is going to be my 2015 beauty favorites. I am so excited to be filming this. I filmed one last year and I had so much fun creating it. I had a really great positive feedback and I actually asked on Twitter and on Snapchat. If you guys still wanted to see 2015 beauty favorites from me, I just recently did a December favorites. So I was like, fuck, should I even do a freaking 2015 beauty favorites like the whole year and a lot of you guys said yes fuck it just put up another fav favorites video we want to see them so I'm like you know what you're my kind of people you are my kind of people Manny X and Manny my kind of people so I was like okay cool let's go ahead and film this favorites video I feel like it's gonna be a long one most people's that I've been watching are long and I'm like shoot that shit is gonna be long and mine's gonna be long too I'm sure 2015 was an awesome beauty year so I'm so excited to film this and I feel like I have a really good pile of things so I'm really excited to be filming this let's go ahead and get into the 2015 beauty favorites as always if you guys don't like this video if you guys don't like me please don't fucking watch it you know the joke that but if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and if you're new what is up Manny, Maniacs, that's all you gotta know. Cool? Let's go and get into this favorites video. Cool, so the first three items are gonna be more like skincare type items. Not skincare necessarily, just more like that are not makeup. These are the three items that are not makeup in this video. So first things first, I wanna talk about because, I mean, I just have to talk about this. I talked about this in a favorites video a while back. I don't even remember which one it was, but I still get so many like tweets about it. This is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. It's a sleep lip mask, that's what I use it for. I actually hit like the bottom of it already because it is so good. It's very, very dense, it's very, very thick, which is why I only use it at nighttime. I mean, you can use it in the day, of course, if you want to. I'll go for it, man. But um, it is very thick and it's kind of like, like goopy in a way. Oh, that's a weird word. I put this on at nighttime and then I'll wake up and I still have some of it on, which is why I like it so much. I'm like, yo, I know my lips are getting hydrated with this, so Sarah Hap Lip Slip. Amazing. You guys probably knew I was going to be talking about this. This is the Carez Greek Yogurt Nourishing Sleeping Facial. It is a Greek yogurt based sleeping hydrating mask. You can see I've like, I'm almost hitting pan on that one too. Shit. I'm almost at the bottom of the jar. I absolutely love this. It's very, very hydrating. It is a sleep mask. What I like to do is I'll go ahead and wash my face, put on a moisturizer or whatever, and then I do this at the very, very end of every step. And I wake up every morning after I use this and I my skin feels so hydrated, so plump. That Greek yogurt shit is very, very hydrating. Like, so good. And it's not too hydrating where it's going to clog my pores. I don't feel like it is at least. It's definitely hydrating enough. Where I feel a difference, but it's not clogging my pores. You know, when you use things that are way too hydrating, it'll clog your pores. Because I have. I've used products that are, like, too nourishing. And I'm like, yo, my pores are fucking clogged and I'm breaking out. So, this does not do that to me. And I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend it. Get a sample from Sephora. So bomb. And last skincare type item. Or not skincare. Just last not beauty item. This is poopery. I talked about this in another favorites video, I don't remember which one, but I got it and I'm obsessed. This is basically shit spray, like literally it's shit spray. You like open the toilet, you spray it on the top of the water, it creates a little film, your shit falls in, and, and it, um, the film envelops the shitty. You cannot smell the shit in the bathroom. It's really, really, really cool. It's very, very unique, very innovative. Why didn't I think of that? Like this is probably genius, this is probably like a multi-million dollar thing now, because it is so, this shit is good. Literally. I take it to travel with me all the time, and all my friends appreciate it when I shit at their house and they can't smell it. So the next item I wanted to talk about was the Morphe Elite brushes. I just grabbed three that are right next to me. I have two favorite Morphe videos up on my channel already. I'll leave them linked down below if you're curious about any Morphe brushes. Honestly though, the Morphe Elite Collection brushes, I wanted them to have a little extra love in this video because they are truly the best brushes for the best price point. I mean, I can say like Hakuhodo and like freaking NARS brushes are amazing, which they are, but the price point is like $60 a brush. These are like in the teens and 20s, like how much these cost. And the quality is just as good, if not better than the Hakuhodo and NARS ones. They're absolutely amazing. So I'm not gonna go into detail about which brushes I love so much in this video, but I just wanted to give extra love to the Morphe Elites. They are the best brushes. I'm not kidding. So bomb. Check them out. Also, I have a code with Morphe, MANYAMUA, all caps. Boom, I'm an affiliate with them. I love them as a brand. My next beauty item is also from Morphe. It is the Morphe 35O. It is such a beautiful fucking palette. I die, so I'm not done a tutorial using this yet. This palette is seriously like, sells like hotcakes with Morphe. It is so popular. I always let you guys know when it's back in stock when I find out it is. I feel like this palette is better than all the other palettes. A lot of people will use other Morphe palettes and they are nice, don't get me wrong, they're nice palettes. But the 35O specifically, I feel it's nicer. It doesn't really make sense. I feel like they're more pigmented, they're more blendable, they're more everything. Like, literally... 
Like, super pigmented, super blendable. Let me just swatch some. Is this a joke or not? Nah? So I just had to give the Morphe 35O some love. I will be filming a tutorial on it if you guys want to see one. I know I talk about it all the time. I just haven't filmed a full-blown tutorial with it yet. But if you guys still want to see one, let me know and I'll totally film one. I truly do love this palette and I think it's better than all the other palettes that they have. 35O obsessed. Next product I have to talk about, which has been my life all 2015, is Benefit Hula Bronzer. You guys know. You fucking know that I use this bitch in like every single tutorial I'm wearing today. Are we surprised? Don't think so. It's just my favorite bronzer because it is very neutral. It's not too, too, too cool. It's not too warm. It is just a nice bronzer for shading in the face. If you're lighter complexion, medium in complexion, medium dark in complexion, it's going to probably work for you. Once you're getting into like the deeper, deeper skin tones, like NC45 status, I don't think it will work for you. Maybe it's like a setting powder. Even the packaging is adorable. It's like bamboo-ish. It's a little box. I don't know. I love it. I think it's an amazing product. My favorite mascara of this year. I'm not going in order. I hope you guys know that. I'm not going to be going in like a specific like I'm going to do primer first then that like no. Hell no. I want to be just sporadic. I want you guys to like see my shit. So my favorite mascara is also by Benefit. It is the Roller Lash. This has been my 2015 mascara like and it will probably be my 2016 one too. It is so amazing. It's stupid. It's just a really great mascara because I feel like it's very lightweight and it doesn't drop your curl and actually helps keep your lashes curled. My mom is hooked to it, my aunt is hooked to it. I've gotten like everyone in my life obsessed with the roller lash for great reason. It is literally like the best mascara I've ever tried. I'm not even kidding. I love the wand. I love how you can literally like hook underneath your bottom lashes and like jiggle it up or wiggle. Jiggle or wiggle? Jiggle and wiggle are the same thing. <laughs> Whatever. They're like basically the same. If you guys can, go to Sephora and check it out. I know they have a mini one in like the mini travel section. Like it's like 10 bucks. It's like much cheaper than like this one. I think it's like 20 something. But it is like the best mascara I've ever tried. I'm not kidding. It is so bomb. So let's move on to highlighters. I'm gonna talk about the two highlighters that I have been loving in 2015. It's just they are the best. It is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Like this highlighter is pure gold. Do you see them intense ass reflection? Like I love an intense ass reflecting highlight. You guys know this. I'm like highlighting queen obsessed. Gold highlighters were really, really in in 2015. And I feel like Laura Geller was one of the ones that really helped push that along. And a lot of brands started coming out with more golden, intense reflecting highlighters. I mean, Whisper of Guilt was like the first, like, whoa, kind of golden highlighter, but Laura Geller really helped take that into control and fucking run with the gold. The other highlighter I wanted to talk about really quickly, <laughs> always surprised, doubtful, Champagne Pop. So I wanted to talk about Becca Champagne Pop. It is the collaboration color with Jaclyn Hill. Honestly, I think this highlighter is absolutely amazing. And yes, Jaclyn's one of my closest friends, but that doesn't mean that I'm like loving it because of her. That's super dishonest, you know what I mean? I would never talk about a product I don't love. And I think Champagne Pop has been such an amazing color. It's so universal. And I think that's why it's done so well. It's great on light skin. It's great on deeper complexions. It's absolutely stunning. It is a very just gorgeous champagne golden color. Laura Geller right here, Champagne Pop right here. So they're absolutely stunning. I absolutely love both of those highlighters. They have been such staples. I mean, Champagne Pop broke records inside Sephora. Like, I'm not just talking about it because Jacqueline's my friend. It is truly an amazing product. Becca highlighters are some of the best in the entire market. And Gilded Honey was fucking sold out for how long? How long? It took me so long to get this. I like was on fucking Ulta site like trying to like like a fucking fiend trying to buy that shit like so hard to get but these are the two highlighters that i've been loving for 2015. next item i'm grabbing is the kat von d shade and light palette this is my top contour palette of all the palettes that came out there were so many i feel like anastasia beverly hills really started that trend too with doing like the contour palettes and they became so freaking popular formula wise and color wise this one is seriously just it hands down to me is just the best one i absolutely love this product i've hit pan on the freaking under eye highlighting one it's such a good highlight color i love the contour color as well it's a very cool toned brown bronzer color. I use, actually, these are the four I use. I use all four of these on the daily. These ones I don't really touch as much, but these ones I use all the time. Powders are very, very smooth. It's very lightweight, but it still gives you so much pigment to it, which I love. And if you guys are looking for a great contour palette that you're going to get like the bang for your buck, because you do get a lot of products in here as well, check out the Kat Von D Shade and Light. It is phenomenal. Moving on to the top two foundations that I've been loving in 2015. This one was really hard for me to pick just two. I was like, yo, like I can't just like have four. Like that's ridiculous. So I chose two foundations that literally like spoke to me in 2015. The first one is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. This is my third tube of it, which is why I have to talk about it. Honestly, I love 
the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible, especially for like a drugstore foundation that's not expensive. It's like nine bucks, eight bucks. It's mattifying. It lasts all day on the skin, medium to full coverage, so blendable. I can go on and on about this foundation, but you guys know that this is one of my favorite foundations and I've been loving it. Honestly, if you guys are looking for a really great drugstore foundation that is not going to break the bank, but still high quality, L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. I'm obsessed. I'm in the shade 103 Natural Buff. On the other spectrum of foundations, my absolute number one favorite of the 2015 year is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. It has changed my foundation game. It is my topper foundation. I know it's so excessive to say that. It is my topper foundation. This is the, my top layer foundation. I'll do like a base layer and then I do this as my top layer. But I do that because, well, one, I'm saving a little bit of product because I'm not using that much foundation. It's just going on my top. It's not like going to be like my full base. And two, it gives you the most beautiful skin-like appearance. It's like a full coverage version of skin. It has crushed pearlized pigments in it, which is why it gives you more of a luminous skin-like appearance. For me, whenever I'm using it, I don't put it in the T-zone though. I only put it on the outer perimeters of my face, like on my cheeks, on my forehead, things like that, because I do get oily and I don't want to emphasize the oiliness with a luminous foundation. This shit is fucking expensive as fuck. Like it is so, it's like 60 bucks. And remember when I bought it and I was like, oh my God, that is expensive. I will forever keep buying it because it is the most beautiful foundation I've ever tried. I like to spray a kabuki brush with it, specifically this brush by Morphe, it's the E6. Spray it on and just ta da 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 Pack it on and it's stunning. I'm in the shade 300 in this one. So those are my two top foundations of 2015. So my top concealer of 2015 is definitely the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. This concealer just fucking hit the beauty world and it hit it so hard. Everyone loved it when they tried it. The reason why I like it so much is because it is full coverage, it's lightweight, and it's kind of hydrating. It's not like the most dry concealer I've ever tried. It's not dry under my eyes. I do get creasy like crazy underneath my eyes. I always tell you guys that and I'm like, cool, I'm just fucked. I'm fucked. It's so blendable, it's so pigmented, it's full coverage, it's a lightweight consistency. And honestly, I just need to give this an honorable mention really quickly. I just got this, but let me give you an honorable mention. Okay, so this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer which is another concealer that I have been loving, but for the past two months. It's kind of hard for me to put this in the 2015 Beauty Favorites video because I've only been using it for two months, but I've been using it religiously nonstop, and it is a beautiful, medium to full coverage. A little bit goes a very long way. It's also very hydrating underneath the eye. It's not cakey. Um, you don't have to set it right away for it to like not crease on you. It's so nice. It doesn't crease very easily. A concealer that's built for 4K definition, which is like, hello, four times 1080. Bitch, where? So my top favorite powder of the year is, always surprised, <laughs> it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This powder has changed my game. I feel like I'm slapping an ass, like, mm. I just feel like this powder has really changed my makeup game. It has kept me matte throughout the day. It gives me a flawless appearance, which, I mean, I'm into a flawless appearance look, not gonna lie. The way I like to use this is actually I'll grab a powder puff and I'll put it in the areas that I get really, really oily, an excessive amount of the powder actually, and I'll put a lot on my cheeks and the T-zone, and then I'll brush it off with a different foundation powder, preferably like a very lightweight like HD powder, because I don't want to put like too much powder on my face because I'm gonna look like a fucking powder ball. But I just noticed that when I'm using this before I do that step, it really does keep my makeup on a lot longer. With what I do now, when I go to events and things like that, I need my makeup to last me like 12 hours. I need it to look beautiful all day and the Laura Mercier translucent powder really helps me with that. It truly does make me matte and keep me looking like pretty throughout the day. I know that sounds kind of like vain and weird, but if you wear makeup and you try this powder, you know what I'm talking about. Like it does really keep your makeup on a lot longer than other powders do. And if you are oily, this will be your best friend. If you're dry, that's debatable, you know what I'm saying? Because dry people, powders are like not their friend, you know? <laughs> you're just not into the powder at all because it is gonna dry you out, it's gonna take moisture from your skin. But if you're oily like me, you're gonna love it. I swear to you, it is the best powder. Get a sample from Sephora. I'm all about samples, clearly, I'm a, I'm a sample bitch. So if you guys wanna try it out, check it out. It's at Sephora or any other beauty store that has Laura Mercier. So let's go and talk about an eyeliner that I've been loving for 2015. It is my top eyeliner. This is the Inglot 77 Gel Liner. This liner killed all the bitches in my drawer. In my liner drawer, this said, fuck off, bitch, got a knife, slayed them all. Because this is literally the best eyeliner I've ever tried. One, it is so dark, it is black as black, it's like freaking the night sky, and then it stays put all day. The problem with me is that I kind of have like oily-ish lids, so like after about like six hours, it'll transfer a little bit, but I'm oily. 
can't help it. But I noticed that with any other liner compared to this one, this one is the best one with longevity. I like to mix it with the Inglot Dura line, which is the mixing medium. That's like the best thing I've also discovered to use this with it. It creates more of a liquidy consistency and it still is black. It's still as long lasting, just a lot easier to work with because this is a gel formula. And sometimes people have a harder time using gels. So if you guys are looking for a great eyeliner that is just high quality, gonna stay on your eyes, all day, check out the Inglot 77 Gel Liner. So the next product I'm gonna talk about is a liquid lipstick. This, I may be a little biased. I might be a little bit biased, not gonna lie. This is Serenity by Dry Cosmetics and myself, I collabed with Dry Cosmetics earlier this year and created a liquid lipstick with them. This is a Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. It is called Serenity. It is the most perfect pinky warm nude color. Let me swatch it on my hand right here. Gorgeous warm pink. It is stunning. I love this shade. I love the formula. The formula is very thin but very pigmented and it's not too drying, which is like a big problem for a lot of people. They don't like super drying liquid lipsticks. Serenity was my first ever collaboration and I think it's so amazing and I can never, I'll never not love this shade. A lot of people have been like tagging me recently because they were getting Serenity during like the holidays and I'm so happy you guys like it and I'm so happy that it turned out as bomb as you guys were hoping it would be. So. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback and love. I almost want to put it on, on top of this. I'm just going to put Serenity on top. Let's just mix them. Why not? Why not? Makeup has no fucking rules. Oh, smells like vanilla. I love it. So this is what it looks like on top of the lip I just had. It just made it a little bit more nude, a little bit more pinky, a little bit more neutral. <laughs> it's definitely my top 2015 liquid lipstick. I am biased towards it, not going to lie. And I don't give a fuck. Lashes. Let's talk about my favorite pair of lashes from 2015. Do we know? I think we do. New Bound some lashes in the style Bella. <laughs> Bella lashes are basically like my favorite style of lashes. They're very flary, they're very wispy, and they curl upwards, which is why I can wear glasses with them. A lot of people ask me how I wear glasses with lashes. It's because the lashes I wear are usually 3D mink and they flip upwards. So um, it doesn't go straight out like usual lashes do. It literally goes like this. Instead of like an, a lash being like this, out of your eye, they go like this. I still have space between my lens and my lashes. Um, but this is what they look like. They are a very just beautiful, wispy pair. If you guys are familiar with the Lily Lashes in Mykonos, they are the same exact style. I think they're made at the same lab, like literally. That style is my favorite style. Like Mykonos, Bella, they're my favorite kind of lashes. They are amazing. New Bounce Some, I'm an affiliate with them. If you use my code Manny anyway, you save 20% off. They are my favorite affiliate for lashes because they do give off 20% to my followers. That is super awesome. A lot of brands don't do that. Most of the brands I work with when I was doing lashes with other brands, they only gave off 10%. That's good too. That's, I mean, it's still, you get a percent off. Like, that's awesome. But new about some, you get 20. So I'm like, 10, 20. I just wanted to give some love to my favorite kind of shadows from 2015. It is the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows. You guys, honestly, if you haven't tried the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows, you need to get some. They are so great, so high quality. My two favorites from their entire line are... In the spotlight and grandstand they are the best shades ever grandstand is like a very bronzy warm tone it's like a very reflective bronze shade i just swatched it right now next to serenity it's this color right here it's stunning and in the spotlight is a beautiful like champagne whitish pink very intense very reflective it's absolutely stunning those two shades are my favorite makeup geek foil shadows that they've ever made they're absolutely amazing well honestly that's a lie they are one of my favorites but my favorite absolute favorite makeup geek shadow that they've ever made is in my palette with makeup geek so that one you have to stay tuned for Can i just swatch it and show you guys this is my favorite shade let me just swatch them at the very end that's mine right here it's a very beautiful taupey bronze shade <gasps> Ugh. I'm not gonna tell you the name yet. I'm not gonna tell you the name yet. I'm gonna be strong. They're very very high in pearlized pigments Which is actually the ingredient that we're missing from my palette, which is why it's been taking so long So that's why I love it those ones so much the foiled shadows by makeup geek the best hands down bomb Say the moon I'll punish you and lastly I really want to talk about a couple brands that do liquid lipsticks that are my favorite liquid lipsticks So the two other formulas that really jumped out at me in 2015 like throughout the whole entire year not just like the end of it or just the beginning of it throughout the entire year have been the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks and the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. I love the Anastasia ones, they're absolutely amazing as well, and the Ofra ones, I love the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks, but these ones truly have been like, whoa, like catching my attention so much. I just love the packaging, I love the formulas of both of them, they're absolutely amazing. Actually, the packaging on both of them is like almost identical, it's really funny. I'm gonna be doing a Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks swatch video, I've already done a Jeffree one. I absolutely love it, look at the packaging. It's literally 
identical, and then they also both have the huge ass fucking doe foot applicator that's the size of a fucking doe foot. Ridiculous. And those are two of my favorite liquid lipstick brands besides Ofra and besides Anastasia, but these ones really, really like took my attention like by storm. You feel me? And that is it for my entire 2015 beauty favorites. I had so much fun filming this video. I love doing videos like this. You guys already know that favorites videos every month are my favorite. I'm just really happy that you guys still wanted me to do it. I know I did just recently do a favorites video for December, um, and I was like, fuck, no one's gonna want to see the 2015 favorites, but you guys said yes, and I was like, thank God. Thank God, because I really wanted to do it. So thank you guys for saying yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the favorites I chose and picked out. If you guys have tried any of the products listed down below, let me know in the comments bar below because I love these products. If you're also thinking like, where the fuck is the next Peekaboo Neutral and Beaches and Cream? They were in my 2014 Beauty Favorites video. So it's funny because like, I've still been obsessed with them ever since. Like, like they're still my top favorites. So I just didn't want to include them again. I'm like, yo, I've already put them in my last favorites video from last year. So they're still my top favorites. Beaches and Cream, Peekaboo Neutral by NYX. Top, top, top. I will leave everything that I talked about linked down below as I always do in every single video as well as my social media links, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything will be linked down below. And then I'll also include some affiliate stuff if I have any for the products I talked about today in the description bar below. I am so happy and so astounded by 2015. It's been the most amazing year for not only beauty but for social media and for us me and you guys we've had such an awesome year and i cannot wait for 2016 2016 is going to be even fucking better for the stuff i planned for you guys i'm just so ready for things to come out i'm just so excited and i just wanted to, i just wanted to say that i love you guys so much my top 2015 favorite is you guys it really is like i know it sounds cheesy as fuck like fucking mozzarella over fucking spaghetti cheesy but it really is the truth 2015 is really the year that made my social media like what it is you know what i mean i didn't have a huge following 2014 or anything like that um not saying that i have a huge following now but it's much more significant than it was in 2014 and it's grown so much and we've made this awesome family that i can never begin to explain how much it means to me you know what i mean you guys mean the world to me you guys really do i i don't know if you guys know this I mean, I hope you fucking do because I say it all the time, but you guys mean the world to me and I want you guys to always know that and I want you guys to always feel like I'm your friend and I'm here for you because I feel like I am. I, I truly do feel like we're close friends and I love it when you guys tell me on Twitter like that you feel like you're my best friend because I feel like that too with you guys because you guys are so engaged with me and you guys like my stuff and you guys comment and I love it. I love reading your guys' comments. I truly do. It makes me happy and it makes me happy when you guys tell me that you, I make you guys happy. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I know. And especially I, I get cheesy when I ramble. So sorry about that. But I just want you guys to know that I love you and 2016 will be amazing for us. I promise you we're going to make it as sick as fuck. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye you guys. This video's gonna be long. Ooh, yep, I had to talk about that for sure. Oh, you like like that? Ooh, this is that was a this was. Ow, I bit my tongue. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ow, ow, <laughs> fucker. Cool. Let's move on to the makeup stuff. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I fucking hate moving that shit. So, as you can, what the fuck was all that? I don't know what that was. Is it recording or not? So, as you can see from say, hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please. Whoa, that was like so cool. Whoa, whoa, that was, so, that was way too fast. I'm like. Okay, cool. So let's talk about an eyeliner that I've been loving. It's like my top eyeliner of 2016. Whoa, whoa, we're in 2015. Calm the fuck down. Skipping ahead. 